We got a turnout right here throwing sparks. We're going to try to fix it. Stick around. Let's get it. Welcome to the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. This is Brian. I'm glad you're here. And if you're not already a subscriber, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Because when you're a subscriber here, you get access to a lot of great model railroad video uploads. And so now that you're subscribed, we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video upload, which is coming up right now. Let's get and as I said, my name is Brian, and if you're new, welcome to the channel, all right? And as I mentioned, I got a turnout right here that's throwing sparks, and it's also making the track short out. It's not on the main line, so I haven't paid a lot of attention to it, but it's affecting me being able to do model railroad operations, so I'm wanting to get it fixed. All right, what's going on here is this is track one. This is track two, three, and four, main line. We got one main two three four so this is one all right when one is powered and i got a train backing up through here i'm getting a spark right here after it goes through and the loco hits it it usually shorts the whole track out i've got to pull the locos off turn the controller off and on and then i can rerun trains uh shortly after usually all right so it's an issue that needs addressing now I have uh, Pico turnouts, and there are Insul and Electro Frogs mixed. Now, I know on Insul Frogs, I just got to keep the non-conducting um, rail joiner on the hot side, and I'm all good, all right? And the Electro Frogs are a little bit different. Now, my problem is, is I don't know if I've got an Insul or an Electro here, all right? And what I'm thinking or what I'm hoping is that I've got an electro here and I've got it set up like it's an insole and that I can just make that simple switch and all will be good. So what I'm going to be doing is I got my power meter here and I'm going to be coming and I'm going to be turning um, the power off and on of one and four and seeing how the meter uh, behaves on when I um, check it on all those areas just to kind of get an idea for what might be going on. Then I'm going to be um, putting water down here, 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 and back here because I'm going to have to pull the turnouts up. And then once I pull the turnout up, I can flip it over. I know if I got an electro or an insole, I can check my rail joiners and see if um, I have them right or wrong from what I understand. And if not, I can correct them and we'll put it back in and see if that works. And if that doesn't work, I'll be shooting this video out to y'all asking for help. If it does work, great. We'll shoot this video out to y'all as a success story. And if it doesn't work, I'll be shooting this video out as a SOS help story. All right, y'all. Thank you. So what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm getting ready to um, check the power first. And so I'll come back to you in just a minute. And we're going to do uh, a look at what, how uh, line one and four behave with each of those powers toggled off and on. And I'll be checking both of those to see how they behave. Then we'll be pulling the turnout up after that. All right, everybody, welcome back. And so what we're doing is we're looking at said turnouts, okay? Again, this is line one, main line. This is four. Here is your uh, turnout that's sparking right here. Now, this could have something to do with it. It's connected to that turnout. Um, what it looks to me like, and I don't understand why, okay, I have three non-metal conducting rail joiners here on this back one. So, not here, but here, here, and here look like I have, well, I could be wrong. I can't tell about this one. We'll have to check. Over here, it looks like I only have one. And see, if this is an electro frog right here, I need a uh, non metal conducting on these two on the inside, is my understanding. 
All right, so I'm gonna check the power real quick. Right now, we're just checking main. And we're good. Okay. So, one should be off. One is off. Four should be off. Four is off. Is one on now? One should be on. And here. Alright, let's turn this off. Just turn one back off. Turning four back on. Four here should be. right that's right I got one on that's right okay so here go right all right so what I need to do is we'll get four out of the picture I need to flip this switch here now what do I have going on Still normal here, still normal here. All right, so I didn't show any kind of power issue. What if this is flipped this way? Although that wouldn't be flipped that way when I would be coming back. Normal. Normal. That one's supposed to be off. Okay. There. What about here? Well. Alright. Normal, normal, normal. Alright. I'm not showing any kind of power changes whatsoever. Alright. But what I do have happen is right here, I have a spark when I back up Locos uh, cars with metal wheels over this one right here I have a spark and then when the locos go back over it it shorts out the track so I'm assuming that I have a problem and I'm hoping that what my problem is is with one of these rail joiners right here and so what we're gonna do now is I'll uh, come back to you in just a second I'm just gonna be wetting here 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 and here just to make it easy because i'm going to pull these two turnouts up and um we're going to flip them over and look at the underside and i'll get some pictures because i possibly could be shooting this out to y'all before this is completed and if i don't get it fixed on my own i want to have pictures um to provide for y'all so i can ask for your help
Alright, so what I learned from Google and friends is that this point right here, if that point right there is plastic, it's an insel frog. If this point right here is metal, it is an electro frog. That is also the same with this area right here. If this is plastic, it's insel, and if it's metal, it's electro. So both of mine are electros, unless I'm wrong. And so, what was working properly that from what I could tell, I had non-metal conducting and non-metal conducting on the spur that gets turned off and on. I had non-metal conducting on the other inside point. Not sure what you call that, I forgot. Slipped my mind real quick. So, and this was working properly. So then you had the hot rail on the main line that's got a metal conducting. All right, so what I did was since this one was working properly and it was an electro frog and this was an electro frog I just mirrored that and I had to change this one right here I had metal conducting here and I'm changing that to non-metal conducting here we have the spur that gets turned off and on so we've got two non-metal conducting and then we got a metal conducting on the hot rail so what we're going to do is get these plugged back in and I'm going to, before I glue them down again, I'm going to check the power and see how it behaves. If the power behaves all right, then I will go ahead and um, glue it down and see if we can get some trains running across it.
All right, good morning to you. It is the next morning and the glue is dry. And what we're going to do right now, I'll just go ahead and brief you before I switch to the close up, is uh, we're going to come through here. I've got this turnout switched, I've got um, line one powered on. And your loco will hopefully come through here without problems. Swing around by Tabernash, come through here, and come out back into the main line and down towards the uh, west portal of the Moffat Tunnel. And so what we'll do then, <clears throat> assuming that works, is we will back up into line one, pull back forward, back up into the main, pull back forward, back up into line four, pull back forward. We'll pull, come back to this view, pull back around, <clears throat> put some cars on make sure the cars can go back and forth because we were seeing sparks with the cars and we were shorting out right here with the loco all right i'm going to switch to another view and talk to you about what we did all right so what happened before is i had sparks coming up right here i told you that when my locos were backing up into line one all right they would come out sometimes it caused a short but when the locos were backing up, it always caused a short. When the cars were backing through with metal wheels, they were causing a spark. All right. So <clears throat> I pulled these two turnouts and learned that both of them are electro frogs from Pico. And so we know how to uh, set up the non metal conducting rail joiners as a result. So we've got. <clears throat> This is our line that we want to be able to power off and on. So we've got non-metal conductor, non-metal conductor. Here is our main line here. And since this is an electro frog, we want non-metal conductor here. All right. We've got a metal conductor on our hot rail that stays hot. That's the main line. Over here is the opposite. Okay, this is line one that turns off and on. All right. So we've got non-metal conductor, non-metal conductor, because we want to be able to isolate this and turn the power off. Over here, we've got your non-metal conductor, all right, because this is an electro frog and you have to have the non-metal conductors on the insides. And then we've got a metal conductor out here, all right. So I might have actually told you, no, I didn't. All right. so. What we're going to do, as I said, so what we ended up doing was we had a metal conductor here previously. We changed it for a non-metal conductor is a long story short. Okay, so we pulled everything up, pull, ended up just pulling the metal conducting rail joiner from here and replacing it with a non-metal conductor. All right, now... I am going to we'll come back to here for a sec as said train rolls through and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch you back here and we'll see the so we made the uh, turnout we made the switch to this line fine so let's come back here now all right now we're coming through line one is what you'll see and out back into the main. We did that good. Check. <clears throat> now when we back this loco through here, we're backing up into line one. And when we used to do that, basically with uh, A and B locos coming through here, uh, basically the power in the house almost shut down. It really didn't, but uh, the power to the track did. So let's see if we can back into line one without a lot of issue. And we did. That's a good sign. We're going to pull back forward into the main again. And now I'm going to flip this switch. And we're just going to see if we can back up into the main. Good sign. Pull back forward into the main. And then we're going to come back into four 
and back out and if that works we'll be going adding some cars and this could be solved I think I might have talked too soon but we'll see all right well we got back into four fine and can we get back out of four fine now the question is is can we do it with cars with metal wheels all right so I want to go back here and I want to switch back to one all right and then <clears throat> because I'm gonna back rack around here where I have a railer back into one wow I must not have done a terrible job with the uh, now we'll come back to here I'm gonna load a few cars right here on the re-railer and we're gonna do the same thing we just did before one more time These are not the most agreeable cars, and I kind of did that on purpose. I didn't want to test with my bulletproof cars. That's... Let's back up a little, make sure we've been through the railer. to the main with three cars of mixed freight this was not this was not always causing a short but sometimes it was this is what was always causing a short right here and seeing sparks very light sparks coming no sparks no sparks no It wasn't flawless, but we didn't short anything out. It just... Alright. See if we can go straight back in the main now, which we should be able to. And then we'll come back into four. I didn't think make the switch. Slip in. <clears throat> and this is a problem solved video it looks like everybody so what we did is we had a non met we had a metal conducting rail joiner in the wrong place on an electro frog so what we did in this video is we identified the difference between the insole frog and the electro frog then we figured out why we had a problem 
because we had a metal conducting rail joiner on the inside of an electro frog and so what we had to do is pull that metal conducting rail joiner off put a non-metal conducting rail joiner on there and that looks like that has solved my problems up here we're going to be able to do some more operations real soon and that's why we took care of this we want to thank you very much for watching today if you're not already a subscriber i want to encourage you to subscribe click the bell icon and share this with your other modeling friends we appreciate you watching we're trying to increase our watch time everybody so if you don't mind helping us we've got a video called set it and forget it what it does is it documents the development and progression of this layout back from a tiny little oval to what it is today it's 150 something videos all i'd ask that you do is maybe set that thing off before you go to work or before you go to bed in the evenings and that'll help me increase my watch time i want to thank y'all for watching again today thank you for supporting the channel please leave me a comment below give me some ideas for some operations or some race series that you'd like to see i'd like to follow up on that all right everybody thank you again this is brian with the iron horse model railroad i appreciate you thanks for watching check back in real soon for another video Let's get